Hello and welcome to Happily Ever Reality. I am so glad that you're here. Today I wanted to do something just a little bit different. So I decided to pull some comments from Facebook that are posted on Sister Wives fan pages and on the Sister Wives like the actual Sister Wives page on Facebook and talk about those comments. Some of them are funny, but some of them do make you realize other people see things very differently. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So this comment is from the Facebook page for Sister Wives. It is a little bit older. It's It was posted after the season 16 one-on-ones and this is what it says. I'm so sad for all of the wives. Honestly, Cody never seemed emotionally available for any of his wives. After watching all three episodes of the one-on-ones, Cody, could you be more narcissistic and emotionally detached from your wives, children's feelings or what? So she is talking about, you know, season 16 and everything that happened then, but she kind of brings up this this issue. Was Cody ever emotionally available for his wives? Even back in earlier seasons and, you know, years ago, do you guys think Cody was able to be there the way he should have been for all of them? I definitely don't. And I think them moving apart just added fuel to that. It added fuel to the fire because he was not able to see them and be a part of their everyday lives. Now for Christine, it was great that she was living on her own, but I think for the purposes of having a relationship with Cody, that distance between all of them just made it where he was even less available, but I'm not even sure he had the ability to be there for all of them the way they needed to be back during season one in the early years of their marriages. Okay, I'm going to warn you about the next comment. It is a Facebook comment that many people are going to disagree with, but let me go ahead and read it to you. Unpopular opinion, but I think Robin is 100% all in on the plural marriage thing. She loves the sister wives. She's painted as the bad guy because of Cody. It's not her fault Cody is all in when it comes to her and is neglecting the rest of his family. I think he completely controls her. She does what he says when he says it. She doesn't have her own thoughts or opinions because he doesn't allow it. The other wives stand up to him. He doesn't like that. I feel sorry for Robin. I think she is abused by Cody in more than one way. That is definitely not an opinion that most people would agree with. I know because sometimes you guys get really worked up in the comments when it comes to Robin. I do think that Robin tries to agree with Cody as much as possible. And it was kind of funny because back when Cody did this last one-on-one, he talked about Christine being a pick-me girl. Remember that? We all remember that. Um, When he was like panting like a dog. And here's my thing. I think Robin sort of is that herself. You know, she, I think, goes along with Cody as much as possible to keep the peace. And I think when she does agree with him, she has to, you know, do the damsel in distress thing. That way his ego is still inflated. He still feels like the man who has to save the day. So I think that is her angle when she disagrees with him. Like, she's so sad. I don't know what to do, Cody. Why do they treat me so bad? So she does this sort of like damsel in distress thing. He thinks he gets to save her. He still feels like the man, but she's having a little bit of an influence over what he says and does. But I don't necessarily think Robin is the victim. I think that's just her you know, surviving in this marriage that she wants to stay in. I think if Robin wanted to leave, she could. I don't think she's abused, you know. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Robin is abused in this relationship? Do you think that Cody controls what she says and does? Do you think it's a choice? Let me know in the comments. The next comment is far more aligned with the type of comments I get here on this channel when it comes to Robin. It says, How Robin sits there with her pathetic fake tears. She's doing the happy dance that she won. She set out to ruin the family and she did. They were such a great loving family till she came along. She can't wait till Cody kicks Mary and Janelle to the curb so she'll have her man. So of course this comment was left before the end of season 17. So at this point, you know, the person who made this comment didn't know that Janelle had already left and Mary is kind of gone or doing whatever she's doing. Um, Here's my thing. I don't think Robin was set out to ruin this family 
As a matter of fact, I think there were plenty of things that Robin saw in this family that she wanted. Now, you could say that, you know, these are ulterior motives. It wasn't just purely loving Cody that brought her into the marriage. But you know what? Oh, there's a lot of marriages where people have, you know, other motivations besides love when they enter them. I think Robin was a single mom. She was struggling. She wanted stability. She wanted financial security. I think those were additional things that she saw in Cody because at the time, I bet Cody looked really nice to her. You know, he's dependable. He's faithful to three women. He's supporting all of those kids. They had a nice home in Utah. You know, there are men who can't stay faithful to one woman and support, you know, one person in a marriage and won't stay and support their children. Here's Cody Brown doing this for three women and all of those kids. You know, Cody probably looked like a real catch to Robin. So I just don't think she went into this wanting to ruin the family. I think she wanted what the family had. This comment also says that they were such a great loving family before she came along. I don't think that was true. I think they loved each other. I think they were getting by, but I think there were already plenty of cracks in this family. You know, they're open about the fact that Mary and Janelle didn't really get along that well. So Christine was coming in to sort of be a buffer, you know, sort of help the family relationships out. So there were already cracks there. There were already issues. I do think when Robin entered, though, it added a new dynamic. It added something new. And that was a newer, younger wife was suddenly there. And I do think Cody had a favorite and it was very obvious. So I think there was, you know, Robin brought something into the family, but I don't know that it was intentional. I think Cody could have handled this differently and this wouldn't have been a problem. But he, I, I think he has a favorite. I think it's Robin, but I don't think Robin necessarily came in with the intention of it being that way, but I do think she likes it. You know, a lot, most people would like being the favorite or being the person getting special attention. So I do think she enjoys it, but I don't know if, like, I don't think there's any intention behind it. It also says she can't wait till Cody kicks Mary and Janelle to the curb. I don't think, I don't feel like Robin cares if Janelle is there. I think Robin likes having Mary there. You know, Mary's not much of a threat. She brings some money to the table. They have a friendship. Mary could stay. You know, I think from Robin's perspective, Mary's not taking Cody away. She is providing something into the family. I don't know about Janelle, though. I don't think Robin cares if Janelle is there. I don't think she really cared if Christine was there. Finally, the last thing I want to address in this comment is how it actually starts out. Robin sits there with her pathetic fake tears. Now, we all know that Robin cries a lot. I also talk a lot about her facial expressions. I think sometimes her facial ex expressions don't kind of match up with what's happening. She'll be smiling when I don't think she should be. But I never thought that her tears were fake. I just thought she was someone who was emotional and started to cry a lot because that was just kind of who she was. I was surprised when I started this channel and I had so many people either say she was fake crying or they were pointing out that there were no real tears. I get a lot of that, like there's not a single tear when she's crying. So I think it's funny when people comment on that because I never, I never really noticed. I just thought she was, you know, one of those people that went in that direction when she was asked something that, you know, was overwhelming for her. She didn't, maybe didn't know how to answer. She just went to the tears. But a lot of people think they're fake. So when I made my last thumbnail for my last video, which was about Gwendolyn not liking Robin, I decided to add a little fake tear to her cheek so she would actually have a tear since many of you have pointed out that there are no tears on her face. This last comment was a comment posted on Facebook after the season 17 one-on-one -on -one part one. And it is actually a comment that I just agree with like 100%. And I, I like the way the person put it. So I'm going to go ahead and read it here. Cody just revealed his true love. The only thing that he's afraid of is poverty. He wants these women to stay just for money. He loves what they bring to the family. Finances. Yep, I think we saw that at the end of se season 17 when he was talking about how he hoped Mary would stay and help them build on Coyote Pass. 
that was what was important to him, or at least that was how he made it sound back in that episode. And I wish I could remember what one it was. Uh, it was back when Janelle was kind of trying to get Cody to talk more about her building on Coyote Pass. He talked about wanting Mary to do that and wanting Mary to stay so they could, you know, follow through with their Coyote Pass plans. And I'm like, that is what was important to him. And then he said it during the one-on-one. -on -one. His fear is poverty. You know, he wants Mary to stay, or at least that's my opinion. He wants her to stay around so that it can she can help them. So I just thought this comment was great. I 100% agree with it. Cody wants them to stick around for financial reasons. So I hope Janelle gets out of there and I hope eventually Mary gets out of there too. So that is all for today. I kept this one kind of short. I wasn't really sure how it would go or if anyone would like it. Let me know in the comments. Um, should they be longer? Should I add more? Like, should I put in more comments and talk about more or keep these videos sort of short? Let me know. And of course, I always love when you leave comments about the shows or about the opinions on here. So go ahead and leave those too. If you haven't already, click like and subscribe and come back to Happily Ever Reality if you want to talk more about your favorite reality TV shows.